why is it important to keep track of what day it is when it doesn't really matter? Or does it? Hi, I'm Nika Waters and welcome to the Boat Galley Podcast. Today, I'm talking about the importance of keeping track of days and dates and how to do it when there's not an outside way to make that happen for you. Today's episode of the Boat Galley Podcast is sponsored by SailDauntless.com your personalized sailing adventure in the most beautiful locations. Experience the utmost in luxury cruising just the way you want it. Get back into the sailing groove on board this beautiful 52-foot sailboat where every detail is taken care of for you. Now booking in Italy and Croatia for summer 2021. Use coupon code SD15 for 15% off any seven-night all-inclusive sailing charter in the Mediterranean, July through September 2021. Ready to live the dream? SailDauntless.com. Let our experience inspire yours. That's S-A-I-L-D-A-U-N-T-L-E-S-S dot com. That actually sounds like my dream vacation, where it doesn't matter what day it is, and I'm just enjoying it and going along for the ride. I'm sure that when Sail Dauntless talks about keeping track of all the details, they probably are the ones keeping track of what day it is for you. That's kind of a nice thing. Keeping track of days and dates easily is one of those strangely overlooked benefit of working for somebody else. You follow a calendar of meetings and work days, and weekends are some blissfully kind of a different routine. Last fall, when Jeremy started taking off every Friday, we just said, okay, Friday is a part of the weekend. We have a three-day weekend every weekend. And for us, this matters because our weekend routine includes coffee in bed with our very favorite YouTube channels. We don't have time for that, or there, isn't, there wasn't time for that, certainly in the fall during the week, because work calls and things that you had to do because the rest of the world is living on a Monday through Friday schedule, those things take precedence. During December, just last month, when he took a lot more time off, we had a decision to make. Is every day going to be a weekend day? Well, we have an awful lot of boat work to be done, and we said, no, that's not okay. But what do you do when there's nobody else setting the schedule? What do you do when your time is yours, as it might be, if you take off and go cruising? Do you toss the schedule and the idea of routine into the air and just go with the flow? Well, I think it's important not to just toss it all in the air and go with the flow. And maybe there are a couple of reasons for that. Number one, keeping track of what day it is actually feels significant. Okay, that's small and reaching for things, but we actually do need to keep track of what day it is because we have a call with our son every other Monday. We need to know that Sundays are Sundays because that's when the local hardware store is closed and we sure better not run out of epoxy on a Saturday night and think we're going to be able to go get it on Sunday. We've also started a tradition of Crab Cake Fridays. And, oh, that does not mean we're going to have Crab Cake Thursdays or Crab Cake Tuesdays, right? No, it's Crab Cake Friday. Can't have that Crab Cake Friday if we don't have it on a Friday. I do try to write a journal entry every single day where I write down not only the date, but the day of the week. And sometimes I go back to check on yesterday to see that I've got the date right and the day of the week. It's also something that you can do on your phone. If you happen to check your phone on a regular basis, you will look and you can see that at least on my phone, it shows up directly as it's Tuesday as I'm recording this. It's Tuesday, January 19th today. So that's helpful. That helps me keep track of what day it is. So if you're going to check your phone, you can make a point of doing that. The other thing, a little bit less uh, tongue-in-cheek, but we have decided that even though there's no longer somebody else setting the schedule, we are sticking to coffee and YouTube in bed on weekends only. And we're back to that being Saturday and Sunday. We snooze a little bit longer, we stretch a little bit more, we make coffee and catch up on two or three, sometimes even four videos each Saturday and Sunday. 
And so, yeah, in order to do that, we sure better know what day of the week it is. The days still do kind of blend together. And yep, for many of us during this pandemic, that certainly feels like we're on full on Groundhog Day. But at least for us, we've got boat projects that at least parts of it get finished every day. And so we're not working on the same thing every day. So there's something different. I'm looking forward to sharing an anchorage with you where we can together try to figure out what day of the week it is as we're toasting to our good fortune to being in a beautiful spot and hanging out together. Thank you so much for listening to the Boat Galley podcast. If you like what you've heard, don't forget to subscribe. There are two of these episodes every single week. Talk to you soon.